바벨론의 산업인입니다. The business people of Babylon. 길은 하나밖에 없어요. There is only one way. 이 포로되기 때문에 길은 하나밖에 없습니다. Because they were captives, there was only one way. 아, 어떤 길입니까? And what way was that? 실제로 지금 네, 기도의 망대를 제대로 만드는 그 길밖에 없습니다. The only way for them to properly raise a partisan a prayer. 그래서 이 끝에 가서 이 말씀을 하셨잖아요. And that's why at the very end he said this in Isaiah 62, 6 to 12. 어, 없으니까, Because this was the only way. 너를 파수꾼으로 세웠다. That I will raise you as a watchman. 그래서 파수꾼은 망대를 지키는 파수꾼이죠. And a watchman is the one who guards the partisan. 예, 종일 종야 여호와로 쉬지 못하게 해라. And give the Lord no rest all day and all night. 예, 대로를 수축해라. And you have to build up the highway. 예, 만민을 위하여 길을 들라. And raise a banner for the nations. 어, 여기서 좀 우리가 좀 생각해야 될 부분이 있습니다. And there are things that we must consider here. 이스라엘이 안 믿는 게 뭡니까? That what was it that the Israelites did not believe? 이스라엘이 안 믿는 게 뭔가 하니까 쉽게 말하면 영적인 것을 안 믿은 거예요. I simply put the Israelites did not believe in the spiritual things. 자, 영적인 것을 안 믿을 때는 이 망대를 만들 수도 없고 어떻게 만드는지도 모르는 거예요. If you don't believe in the spiritual things, then you cannot build the partisan. There's no way you can do that. 놀라우게도 이스라엘은 사실요. 원죄가 뭔지도 모릅니다. And amazing, the Israelites did not even know what original sin was. 하나님 떠난 게 원죄 아닙니까? 그걸 모르니까 전부 말씀을 육신적으로 다 바꿔. Leaving God, that is original sin, but not knowing what that is, they change all the word into a physical interpretation. 어, 사실 또 우리 지금 어, 성도들이 불신앙은 아니지만은 <웃음> 성도들이 가장 가볍게 보는 겁니다. And so uh, we see that the believers too, it's not that they have unbelief, but the things that they take lightly. And it, it's this in our introduction. They take this very lightly, the partisan of prayer. Because they don't actually believe in the spiritual things. 많은, 어, 종교단체와 이단에게 많은 사람들 뺏기고 있습니다. And right now we're losing many people to the religious organizations and heresies. 그 부분도 영적인 부분은 전혀 생각하지 않은 거예요. And they're not considering the spiritual things at all. 그래서 심지어 우리 신천지 단체에서 우리를 보고 비난하는 내용이 그거 아닙니까? And so that's what the Shinji organization is criticizing us over. 저 사람들은 우리 보고 한 소리요. 하나님 안 믿고 사람을 믿는다는 거예요. It's what they're saying about us. Oh, they don't believe in God. They believe in people. 그걸 우리를 막 비난합니다. And they criticize us for that. 실제로 우리가 반성해야 될 부분들은 이스라엘부터 그렇고 영적인 부분을 전혀 중요하게 생각하지 않아요. We need to reflect on that. The Israelites like that as well, but they did not consider the spiritual things important at all. 어, 결론이 얘기하겠습니다만 영적인 부분이 결국 육신적으로 나중 응답 오는데 영적인 부분을 안 믿으니까. It's the spiritual things that later on manifest as the physical things, but not knowing that they have unbelief and they don't believe in it. 그래서 먼저 이것부터 일어나는 겁니다. And that's why this takes place first. 영적인 포로가 먼저 돼요. Then you become spiritual captives first. 그러고 난 뒤에 이제 당연히 육신 포로 되겠죠. Then naturally you become physical captives as well. 이걸 바벨론에 있던 산업인들은 알아 겁니다. But this is what the business people in Babylon knew. 네, 그래서 뜻을 정했다 그랬죠. That's why they resolved in their hearts. 자, 뭘 알았다는 말입니까? Now what did they know? 네, 여러분들 꼭이 부분을 어, 언약으로 붙잡으셔야 됩니다. And so you must hold to this as your covenant. 이 사람들은 시공간 초월하는 하나님의 비밀이 뭔가 이 언약을 본 거예요. They saw the covenant of what is the mystery, God's mystery for transiting time and space. 우리의 시간이 아니기 때문에 우리 올해는 주제를 25시라 그래요. It's not our time. That's why this year's theme is 25 hours. 자 보세요. And so take a look at this. 보좌에 앉으신 주님이 The Lord seated on the throne appeared. 뭐 우리 성도님들 생각지도 않았잖아요. It's something that believers don't even think about. 여러분이 오늘 내일 예배드릴 때 
보좌 앞에 앉았다라고 생각을 해야 되는데 그거 안 하잖아요. Today and tomorrow as you worship, you need to think that you are sitting seated before the throne, but you don't think that way. 보좌에는 주님이 나타나셔서 하신 말씀입니다. It's what the Lord seated on the throne appeared and said. 그 이스라엘이 지금 다 죽게 됐다. Then right now all the Israelites are about to die. 내가 누굴 보냈고 그래. Then whom shall I send? 그래, 나를 보내서 그랬잖아요. But he replied, send me. 그때 Isaiah. 하나님이 두 가지를 말씀하셨어요. And at that time God told him two things. 너 말고 No, not you. 그로테기 The remnant. The remnant. 그러면 사실 말씀이 조금 더 어려움 더올 것이다. And what he said is there'll be even greater hardships. 남은 것마저도 Even what's left will be stolen. However, the holy seed will remain. This is what he said. And immediately we see the Gospel of Emmanuel in chapter 7. 자, 이런 부분들을 여러분이 회복을 해야 되는 겁니다. That you must restore these things. 말씀의 능력이 뭐냐? What is the power of the word? 오늘 40장에 설명했고요. That's explained in chapter 40. 이 말씀의 능력을 믿을 때 사막에서도 생수가 난다. And when you believe in the power of this word, then we see that there'll be streams of living water even in the wilderness. 강이나 바다에서도 길이 난다. And there'll also be rivers in the desert and paths through the waters. 그런 어마어마한 사실을 어떻게 믿겠습니까? But how can they believe this tremendous fact? 안 믿으니까 다 놓치는 거예요. And not believing in that, they lose hold of everything. 그러면서 일어나서 빛을 발해라. And then he says, arise and shine. 만민을 위해서 길을 들고 파수꾼으로 세워라. Raise a banner for the nations and stand as a watchman. 이 망대를 말하는 거예요. We're talking about this partisan. 어 산업인들이 꼭 영적인 힘부터 먼저 얻어야 됩니다. And so business people, you must gain spiritual power first. 이걸 알고 Knowing this, they resolved in their hearts. Daniel 1장 8절 9절에 보니까 뜻을 정했어요. If you look at Daniel 1 verse 8 through 9, it says they resolved in their hearts. 이거밖에 없다는 거 아니까. They realized that this was the only way. 그리고 이유도 아니까. And they also knew the reason. 이 사람들은 지금 그냥 뜻만 전인 게 아니고 에스더도 뭐 같은 뜻을 정했죠. That it wasn't just these people, but if you look at Esther, she resolved in her heart as well. 왜냐? Why? 이유 아니까. Because they knew the reason. 어 영적인 거 전혀 모르기 때문에 죽을 수밖에 없는 거요 이유를 아니까. People don't know the spiritual things, so they're bound to die. You know that reason. 영적인 거 모르니까 복음은 당연히 모르는 거. And not know the spiritual things naturally, you don't know the gospel either. And so you don't need the gospel at all. 이스라엘 사람들은 복음 필요 없습니다. But the Israelites did not need the gospel. Isn't that so? 정확히 따지 뿌리면 그리스도 필요 없어요. Actually speaking, they did not need Christ. 왜냐하면 자기들 하고 있는 제도도 그거 잘 지키면 된다고 생각해요. Because all they do is follow the institutions that they had established. 뭐 안식일에 뭐 얼마만 걷지 마라, 일하지 마라, 아무 의미도 없는 거를. Oh, don't work on the Sabbath, or how far must you walk on the Sabbath? They're holding the things that did not make any sense and waste their lives with that. 오로지 그 사람들 물어보면 뜻은 좋습니다. 왜냐 하나님 잘 믿어야 되니까. Then of course, if you listen to what they're saying, their intentions are good because you have to believe in God. You have to be a good believer. You shouldn't do anything on the Sabbath. That's what they're saying. 뜻은 좋은데 실질을 전부 육신적으로만 해서 그래. And so their intentions are good, but they're only interpreting everything in a physical sense. 그래서 포로들 수밖에 없어요. That's why they're bound to be taken captive. 그래서 이 <웃음> 메시지를 미리 붙잡았기 때문에요. But holding this message ahead of time. 이 사람들이 기도하기 시작한 거예요. These people began to pray. 응답을 미리 본 거래요. And so they saw the answers in advance. 에 사람들이 이런 망대를 만드셔야 돼요. And so business people, you must build this kind of bar. 이제부터 사람들이 망대를 만들어야 돼요. And so starting now, our business people, you must build this bar. 나의 망대를 만들고 기도의 망대, 교회 안의 망대를 만들어야 돼요. Making my bar is in a bar is in prayer, and a bar is in inside the church. 이 기도 꼭 해야 됩니다. That you must begin this. 그러면 이게 세계 복음화로 나타나요. Then this will manifest as world evangelization. 나의 산업이 세계 복음화에 쓰여야만 되는 겁니다. That my business must be used for world evangelization. 공부 잘한다는 건 뭐냐? 나의 학업이 세계 복음화에 쓰임 받아야 돼요. What does it mean to be good in your studies? That means that your studies should be used for world evangelization. 여러분의 교회와 이 하나 교회가 세계 복음화에 쓰임 받아야 돼요. That your church and this Hana church must be used for world evangelization. 그게 기준입니다. That is the standard. 그러니까 하나님이 
That's why God gave the answer to King Nebuchadnezzar. But why was it Nebuchadnezzar? That they had to give the answer to Nebuchadnezzar for world evangelization. Why? Because he was ruling over the world at that time. And through these three young men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, simply put, God gave them the mystery to save the world, not just merely saving them from the furnace. And even in our time of King Darius. And during his reign, yes, of course, everybody knows how Daniel went to the den lines and survived that, but God was thinking about world evangelization. It may seem as if God is giving you some kind of incident, but God is revealing to you the mystery and the answer for world evangelization. Later on, I'll speak more about this to the remnant, but how do you actually build this partisan? That where will you raise this actual partisan? It's five places. In your thoughts. This is very important. Because answers come depending upon what kind of thoughts you have. That if you have proper and broad thoughts, then those kinds of answers will come. 그래서 제일 중요한 부분이 생각입니다. And so the most important thing is your thoughts. 우리가 보면 이렇게 얘기해 보면은 그 사람 생각을 알 수가 있잖아요. That when you speak with people, you can tell what they're thinking. 그만큼 응답합니다. It's to that extent that the answers come. 마음. And your heart. That is the start of the bison. And more and more, it becomes important. Your thoughts, your mind, that gets imprinted in your brain. And what gets imprinted in your brain sends commands back down to your heart and mind. And then that gets imprinted once again. And so it's a fearsome thing. And what's imprinted in our brain does not disappear. And without realizing that too, again, sends commands down to me. And it continues on in a cycle. And then it heads towards this. Your soul. And when that happens, ultimately, it gets connected with the great eternity, either heaven or hell. And this is prayer, this is answer, this is the partisan. And so depending on what kind of thoughts you have and how you pray with that, it gets connected to the eternal things. Now simply put, our thoughts, our prayers, they are lifted up to the throne. This is the partisan. 우리 중기자분들, 특히 산업인들, 장모님들은 만드셔야 돼요. And so our church officers, our business people, our elders, you must make this. 그렇게 해서 이 망대에서 답이 나오도록 계속 정리를 하는 겁니다. And you continue to organize it until you find your answer from this partisan. 이걸 보고 편집이라고 합니다. We call this edit. You continue to do this. It's very important. Our elders, our church officers, business people, you have to continue to edit so that the word becomes your answer. It's not difficult at all. And the people who don't do this, I don't know why they don't do this at all. We're all attending seminary and do the same studies, but I don't know why they only focus on that. And we're all studying the same thing, and there are much more renowned people than me, those who have a greater background, those who have money, and those who even got good grades and were better looking than me. But for me, it was really easy because as I attended seminary, I continued to edit evangelism. It's, for lack of a better word, I say it was fun, but it really was fun. And 
성경에서 다 나와. As I continue to do that, I found my answer from the Bible. 아, 성경에 다 있는 건데 내가 몰라 가지고 헤맸구나. Oh, it's all in the Bible, but not knowing that I was wandering so much. 거기 막 다락방도 보이고요. That I could see. 아, 성경에 다 있는 게막 보이는 거예요. That I could see the answers in the Bible. 아, 그러니까 확신이 딱 생겨. And so then I gained assurance. 그리고 그분은 첫 번째 시도를 어떻게 나면은 여름 성경학교 때 시도를 했어요. And so I first attempted this during the vacation Bible school. 저는 먼저 중교 받았어요. And I was shocked. 여름 성경학교 때 오후에는 모이고 안 모이면 또안 되니까 오후에는 모이고 오전에는 각 지역에서 성경 공부를 했어요. During VBS, of course, we had to gather, so we would gather in the afternoons, and in the mornings we would split up into each region. 상상만 하면 해보세요. Just imagine that. 그걸 여러분 머릿 속에 상상을 하면 해보라. Try imagining that in your brains. 아이들이 중직자 집에 다 이렇게 군데군데 정해놓고 모인 겁니다. That the kids would go to the designated home of the elders, and then they would gather all together. 그 여름 성경학교인데 온 교회가 난리 나는 거고 온 교회 교회가 다 은혜 받은 거고 왜냐하면 성도님들 그거 같이 또 모여요. And even though it was just a vacation Bible school, the entire church was turned upside down, and the entire church was blessed. 어 주로 이제 중직자 집을 빌려 사니까요. 중직자 집 자체도 막 잔치요. That we were borrowing the homes of church officers, and so their homes almost became like a celebration. 그런데 기준을 주로 이제 그좀큰 집, 어 피아노가 있는 집은 더 좋고요. 옛날처럼 지금처럼 뭐 들고 다니는 게 없었으니까 그때는. 제일 문제가 이제 이 반주죠. And a standard measurement back then was to be a larger home. It would be great if they had a piano because they don't have things like these days where you can just pick it up and go with it. 어, 피아노 각각 다 있지는 않아요 그때는. 그러니까 이제 기타 치는 사람들 부르기도 하고. And back then, not every home had a piano, and so we would call in people who played the guitar. 아, 일꾼들이 다 일어나는 거요. And so all the workers were arising. 그때 아 이거 여름에 말기 아니다. 이걸 지속해야 됩니다. At that time, I realized we can't just do this in the summer. We have to continue this. I found the answer in the Bible. 그, in that way, you need to edit. And then what? That you can have continuation and answers continue 자, to come. 계속 오니까 이걸 붙잡고 하는 게 뭡니까? And when answers continue to come, what do you do holding to that? 내가 계획을 세우는 겁니다. You set up a plan. 자, 하나님의 계획을 따라 잡고 가는 거죠. That you're holding to God's plan and moving along. 자, 계속 응답 안 하시니까요. Why? Because answers continue to come. 이 나중에는 이제 응답 올 정도가 아니죠. And later on, it goes beyond just answers. 이 응답을 이 답이 응답으로 왔는데 다른 사람에게 해답으로 전달해야 될 부분들이 보이시죠. Now this answer comes as your answer, and now you realize it is the solution that you must give to others. 그리 구성을 딱 하는 거죠. 현장 보고 디자인하는. And that's why you can look at the field and design. 예, 이 응답을 여러분이 반드시 봐야 돼요. That you must absolutely see this answer. 예, 중위자분들이 이제는 정말로 세 군데. And so our church officers, you must really build these bartizans in three places. 여러분 개인이 기도의 망대를 만들고 And so you personally must make a prayer bar design. 해보세요. Try it. 여러분 교회에 이 지역에 있는 허감에 빠진 자들 또 많은 다민족이 와서 은혜 받을 수 있는 망대를 만드세요. Then you have to build a bar design so that all the ethnic people and the people of this region can come and really receive grace. 어, 이번 재직 세미나 때 얘기하려고 합니다만 그게 중직자의 기준입니다. I'll speak more about that at the church, the church officers meeting for my church. 그리고 현장에 망대 만들어서 and also build a partisan in the field. 요세 개가 중직자의 기준입니다. Those three things are the standard measurement for our church officers. 사실 우리가 그걸 안내를 안 해줬기 때문에 중직자들이 뭐 해야 될지를 모릅니다. And honestly, because we have not guided them that way, our church officers don't know what to do. 그래서 이거 꼭 이번에 재직 세미나 때 얘기하려고 해요. 중직자들이 뭘 해야 될지를 모르니까. And so I'll speak more about this at our church officer meeting because church officers don't know what they need to do. 교한다는 게 교회 와서 이제 일하는 거 있잖아요. And the best they can do is just come and work in church. 그 사실은 뭐 교회 와서 일하는 건 누가 해도 되는 거거든요. But honestly, working at church, anybody can do that. 또뭐 그래서 돌아가면서 하잖아요. And everybody that they have rotations and they do that. 근데 그게 문제 아니고 진짜 응답 받을 건다 비어요. But that's not the issue. All the places where they can really receive answers are left empty. 예수님께서 세계 복음을 하라고 했는데 중의자 여러분이 세계 놓고 하나 잡고 기도하고 소통되는 게 없잖아요. That the Lord told us we must do world evangelization, but church office there isn't one thing by which you can hold to and really have communication for world evangelization. 하신 말씀하고 나하고는 전혀 상관이 없는 거예요. Then that means that the words that Jesus spoke and me have nothing to do with each other. 그 응답이 있다 없다가 문제가 아니요. 전혀 상관이 없어요. And so the issue, issue isn't even about whether we have answer or not. We have nothing to do with what Jesus said. 예수님은 분명히 모든 족속, 만민, 땅끝 분명히 있잖아요. But Jesus absolutely spoke about going to all nations, the ends of the earth, and to all peoples. 어, 목사님들은 
그 한계가 정해지는 거 아니라도 됩니다. 목사님들 전체를 다 보고 있어야 되니까요. 그러나 중직자나 렘런터들은 한 군데 정해진 데 있어야 돼요. That pastors, you don't have to designate one thing. Why? Because you have to look at the overall picture. But for our remnants and our church offices, you have to have one designated place. 그래 버리면 이제 해석이 나오잖아요. Then once you have that, you can truly interpret. 파수꾼을 세웠다. That what it means to raise up the partisan I mean, as a watchman for the nations. 길도 닦고. And also build up the homes so that the nations can come. 길을 세워라. Raise the banner. 이 말이 그 말입니다. That's what these words mean. 성경이 오늘 분명히 답을 줬는데도 놓치고 있습니다. And so even though the Bible absolutely gave us an answer, we lose hold of it. 그래서 올해부터는 모든 교회 중직자 새로 시작해야 됩니다. And so starting this year, all the church offices of all of our churches must begin anew. 중직자가 예, 가방 들고 숨겨진 나가는 것도 중요하지만요. 중요한 합니다. Our church offices packing their bags and going out to the mission field is important, but it's not all that important. 여러분 교회 안에 망대가 있어야 돼요. That you have to have the bars and 그렇죠. inside your church. Isn't 아니, that so? 성교 꼭 도와주고 싶으면 성교 사 도와주면 돼요. If you really want to help missions, then go help a missionary. 그렇잖아요. Isn't that so? 그러나 교회 안에 여러분 망대가 없다 이 말이에요. But you have no bars and inside your own church. 그러시 여러분 교회 담임석이 왔으면 아, 내가 편안하게 전도를 완전히 배워서 가도록. And when foreigners come to your church, help them to comfortably, completely learn evangelism, and then return to their homes. 그래서 나는 어떤 사람 볼 때는 보면 이렇게 막그막 교회 다 내뱅이 치워요. 그냥 막 돌아다니는 사람 있죠. 그는 어떤 면에서는 자기 성취지. 하나님이 원하시는 거 맞겠어요, 그게? And then sometimes I see people who just completely abandon their church. They're running around outside, and I wonder, is that what God really wants? It's really only about self achievement. 그래 옛날에 그 불러가서 야 교회도 살리고 현장 살리고 살려야지 다 나와두고 돌아다니면 어떡하냐 그래. And so I call that person. I said, you have to save your field. You have to save your church and your family. But if you leave all that and go all around, then what's the use in that? 그리고 교회도 안 되고 성교지도 안 돼. And that means that things will not work in either the church or the mission field. 망대를 세워야 됩니다. You have to raise the partisan. You must remember. 사람들이 그걸 알아야 여러분의 진정 답이 옵니다. People must know that in order for real answers to come. 그러면 하나님이 여러분을 그냥 두시지 않는다 이 말이야. Then God will not leave you alone. 이십사 응답 하시겠다 했잖아요. He will answer you twenty-four hours a day, all day and all night. Give the Lord no rest. 무슨 우리가 여호와를 쉬지 못하게 합니까? 그말 표현을 그렇게 한 거예요. I think what it's just a figurative speech. You know, there's no way we can literally not give many rest. 그 말은 but that's how it was expressed. 여호와께서는 여러분을 위해서 쉬지 않으신다 그 말이에요. What that means that the Lord will unceasingly work for you. 반드시 올해는 해야 됩니다. And so absolutely this year we must do this. 나중에 또 핵심 때 조금 더 설명하겠습니다. 전국 세계에 있는 우리 산업인들 힘 빠지지 마시고 여러분이 교회 가 보면 시험 될것 많을 겁니다. 시험 될 필요가 없습니다. 왜냐? 중직자 산업인 여러분이 응답 받으면 돼요. Because all we need is for you, church officer, business people, to receive answers. Don't lose hold of that. 솔직한 말로 말이죠. 어, 우리 다락방의 목사님들은 복음 전하려고 하는 말은요. 많은 목사님들도 복음 전혀 상관없이 하는 사람 많아요. And to speak frankly, we see that the pastors inside our Tarapang at least they struggle to try to evangelize and present the gospel. But there are many pastors who don't do that. 심지어 목사님들을 모았는데 옛날에 보니까 복음 전해서 영접시키고. Then when I gathered the past together in the past, there were some of them that did not even know how to proclaim the gospel and lead a person to the acceptance prayer. 그것도 모르면서 못 한다 말이 어렵겠죠. But if they are trying to run their pastoral ministry without even knowing that, how difficult must it be? 또 이제 보니까 뭐 많이 이렇게 움직이고 다니기도 하지만은. 어떻게 보면 하나님이 원하시는 게 아니란 말이야. And I see people moving around a lot, and I wonder perhaps is that what God really wants? 그래서 결론은 산업인 여러분이 And so the conclusion is, is that all we need is for you, business people, to receive answers. Don't lose hold of that. If you receive answers, then you can help the pastor with all of his shortcomings. If you receive answers, then you can help the pastor with all of his shortcomings. If you receive answers, then you can help the pastor with all of his shortcomings. If you receive answers, then you can help the pastor with all of his shortcomings. If you receive answers, then you can help the pastor with all of his shortcomings. If you receive answers, then you can help the pastor with all of his shortcomings. And because you can't help him, you actually criticize him behind his back. But if you can help him, then there's no reason to say anything. But but if you can help him, then there's no reason to say anything. You receive answers, then you can help the pastor with all of his shortcomings. That when Joseph received the answers, nothing else was a problem. 이 응답을 모든 산업인들이 붙잡고 
누리시기를 예수 그리스도 이름으로 축복합니다. 만왕의 왕이신 주 예수 그리스도의 은혜와 하나님의 무한하신 사랑과 성령님의 역사하시니 교회 살리고 현장 살릴 미래 살릴 모든 산업인들 지금부터 영원까지 항상 함께 계실지어다 아멘